Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Four Color Elementals. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today, we are taking our flex day back to the Explorer format. I want to mention a couple things really quick here. Uh, first of all, as we've kind of already talked about, Explorer is a very new format for me. I've not really played around with it. Uh, I'll talk about why I chose this deck, who created this deck in a minute, but basically, it's it's been an exploratory uh, experience for me uh, to try something new and so I've really been enjoying it for that reason and I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards doing more of that and not quite so much alchemy which leads me into my next point for these flex days which is uh, a couple of you guys were kind enough to share uh, some of your alchemy decks with me. I don't want you to think that I just completely looked over it. It's more that I'm just looking for explorer decks right now because I enjoy that format a bit more. So it's nothing personal against you. I really do appreciate you guys sharing lists. In fact, we've got a uh, standard list for tomorrow that I'm really excited about. But uh, in general, uh, nobody really submitted an Explorer deck that I saw. Uh, so I just want to encourage you, if you happen to have a deck that you would like to submit, we have a Discord channel specifically for that. It's called Deckless Share. If you join that Discord, you can actually check that out. But additionally, if you just leave a comment with a link to it down below, something along those lines, I would be more than happy to check that out. Uh, please do send a link. Don't just send the deck list. It makes it a little bit harder. But all that to say... Uh, we are jumping into four color elementals today uh, for a variety of reasons, but before I mention that, Legend VD is the one that created this list. So, Legend VD, thank you so much for sharing this over on Aether Hub. I'm really excited to try this solely because I haven't played with Genesis Ultimatum in a while and I really like the card. <laughs> um, the Truthfully, Genesis Ultimatum is just a ridiculous card to me. I really love the Elementals build. I think it's a very fun build and so I'm excited to see if we can get this going. Uh, we may not, we may not win a single game, but that's okay. We're, we're gonna try. Uh, Genesis Ultimatum, if you don't know, two green, three blue, and two red. Look at the top five cards of your deck, put any number of permanent cards from them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand and then you exile the Ultimatum. Uh, obviously a very very strong card but naturally pretty difficult to play unless you're running a lot of the cards that we happen to be running as an example lotus cobra gonna give us a little bit of extra mana with every land drop grow spiral allowing us to put land cards onto the battlefield so for an extra land drop we get to do that uh, Dryad is really crucial here because it says lands are every basic land type, meaning that the mana cost really isn't an issue, it's more about the number of lands we have. Uh, Risen Reef, potentially going to get us a lot of lands onto the battlefield uh, if we can stick this around and then continuously play uh, more elementals. Excuse me. Ooh. Uh, we do have both Omnaths, so we've got Locus of the Royal. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it deals damage to any target equal to the number of elementals you control. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you put a 1-1 counter on an elemental you control. And then, if you control 8 or more lands, go ahead and draw an extra card. Why not? Uh, we'll add. Uh, we do have Omnath Locus of Creation as well. We actually have the full 4 here. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card, so it immediately replaces itself. And then it does have Landfall, which escalates kind of as we go through. So hopefully we'll get to see that. Uh, Yasharn is here, it is an elemental, and it also does pull some lands for us, so it's actually really helpful uh, in that regard. They also can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents to activate spells or abilities. Semi-negligible, but certainly there could be times where that might be helpful. Uh, aside from the Genesis Ultimatum, we do have Titan of Industry, which of course is a giant elemental, and then Ugin the Spirit Dragon for some extra payoffs here. So, lots we can do in this deck. Uh, again, Legend VD, I love the deck building here. I do really appreciate it. I'm excited to try this, guys. We haven't played an elemental deck in quite a while, uh, truthfully, since Risen Reef was like in standard, which was a couple years ago. So this is going to be a blast. I'm really excited for it. We're going to have some fun and explore today, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's jump in. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. How do we feel about this? It's a little bit tricky, but I think we can definitely try it. Uh, the, the ability to play extra lands uh, with the Dryad is actually quite good. We also have the Lotus Cobra, so if it sticks around, it'll be great. I will go ahead and mention, I only tested this deck once, and it literally lasted like three turns. We happened to be against Mono Red, which just annihilated us completely. I think that's going to be a relatively common thing if you do try this deck out. Uh, any kind of heavy, heavy aggro deck is probably just going to outpace you, unless you get very lucky. There are certainly options there, but 
uh, for us in that testing environment, it really did not work. So uh, that is okay. It happens. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this. Uh, I like the ability of having the red here. Uh, not that we really have too much we need to play off of it, though. So uh, we probably will shock ourselves just to get the Lotus Cobra down as much as I don't want to. And it may depend on what the opponent plays, too. So we'll, we'll see. Um, I would love, love to get the Dryad down. Uh, just so we can keep the land drops going. Uh, and I would also really love a Risen Reef, actually. That would be awesome. Uh, interesting. So I will pay two. I'm going to go ahead and play the Lotus Cobra while we can. Looks like this is going to be most likely an Azorius control deck or some, uh, some semblance of a control deck. If they're playing a Glacial Fortress, that would be my assumption. Uh, now, obviously, I've been wrong before. So uh, that's not to say that that's 100% correct. Um... I think actually what we're going to end up doing, let's go here. Uh, that's going to give us a little extra mana here, but the important thing here is we actually get to grow spiral plus dryad if we don't get countered. So we'll see. Um, we'll go ahead and add green. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this could very well get countered uh, with something. I don't know what, but maybe could get countered. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but the important thing is if we do stick this we actually still get the grow spiral off as well So we're actually going to get quite a number of extra land drops here if we can help it uh, Which should set us above obviously the two mana kind of sweeper counter heavy uh, Stuff because no matter what we draw we should be able to at least get close to playing it. So we'll see uh, Opponent is playing a little bit slow. That's okay Also, man, my camera is very yellow That's okay. I've got warm light going on right now. All right Opponent really considering their options. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and drop this. Fantastic. Uh, we will add blue. It doesn't really matter. And then I'll go ahead and do this. Perfect. Uh, and we'll we'll just drop this. Easy enough. Uh, so, I mean, it's what turn three for us. Is that correct? Yeah. And we've got <laughs> quite a bit of land on the battlefield already. So. I mean, if you think about it in terms of if they sweep, as an example, we lose both of these cards, which is pretty rough. Let me be clear. But that also leaves us open to hit a Risen Reef in. It also, I mean, we're at five lands. We only need a couple more to hit the Titan of Industry. So, like, we're, we're well ahead in the resource race. Now, whether that pans out to a win or not, we'll see. Uh, but there we go. We got two damage in. I like it. Uh, that was a really good turn for us, obviously. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, curious to see what the opponent does here. They are playing a little slow. I'm wondering if that just means they don't have very much or if they actually are thinking through some plays. It could very well be both uh, or either one. It doesn't matter. But uh, I'm just curious. Just curious. Let's see. Um... Mescalin? Is that is that their name? Mescalin, you, you ought to play a little, little faster here, but <laughs> it's okay. I totally get it. But um, anyway, guys, I will just say as well, um, I, I think I mentioned this in yesterday's video. Uh, I am sorry that we missed Monday's video. I, I hate that we did, but I was not home and just didn't have the time to record. So I do apologize. That's really the first time we missed a video since the initial release of Streets of New Capenna, which was a bit of a fault on MTG Arena's end, <laughs> uh, unfortunately. But all that to say, I, uh, I really hope that, you know, you guys aren't too upset by that. Uh, let's do this. We'll play for the blue. So this does allow us to Titan of Industry, if we would like. Uh, the question is, what? So they're just not here, because <laughs> they they discarded a Hall of the Storm Giants, which they obviously could have played. So this is going to be a uh, disconnect, I'm imagining, which means we'll probably just insta-win at some point. Kind of a waste of a first game, if I'm honest. I really hate that. But uh, we stick it out for these guys. I'm sorry. I know it's not fun to watch, but we have to stick it out. Uh, because I don't, I don't like when people do this and maybe it's not intentional. Maybe they truly disconnected and they can't help it. Totally get it. But, uh, it's annoying. <laughs> so we stick it out for that. Uh, this might just be our win. 
Yep, there we go. We got the win, guys, uh, against an opponent that did nothing. We did have a pretty awesome turn there, showcasing just the, the ramp of the deck. So I'm actually happy we got to see that. But let's jump into game two. Let's hope for a little bit better this time. The brand new Reanimator Proxy Pack is now available through the end of July. If you'd like to pick up this month's amazing Proxy Pack, please visit patreon.com slash itresolves for details. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Let's see if we can get another win. This is actually a pretty phenomenal hand. Uh, again, we've got some the Lotus Cobra into a Grow Spiral if we'd like it. This, this seems quite good. We can also ramp, of course, into the Ugin here. So let's hope and, and see if we can do that. What? <laughs> Oh no, uh, this is not going to be a fun matchup. So I assume this is the walls deck, uh, or the, the defender deck, or whatever it is, um, that switches the power and toughness, basically. Really? <laughs> okay. It's a, uh, a curiosity deck. Um, I don't think we block. I think we take it. That's hilarious. Uh, I have not seen this. Again, this is a new experience for me to learn the uh, the explorer side, but that's hilarious. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grow spiral first. Titan of industry, huh? Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this down. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a follow-up play. We really hit a lot of lands here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, uh, and I will go ahead and attack in. Chances of us actually blocking this are pretty low when we need to ramp into some big stuff, so Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, there it is. Uh, that's the big, yeah. So this is what, <laughs> such a silly, such a silly thing. Uh, but I mean, hey, it's pretty cool uh, to be fair. Uh, all right, green, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh, we're one away. Uh, that's really unfortunate. And I don't think we actually have the ability to to let this uh, come through. So this is gonna be a problem for us for sure. Or do we actually? Cause next turn that allows us to, ah, uh, yeah, I think we actually do. As much as I don't love this, I think we have to let this in. Uh, the reason being, uh, if we don't, that actually uh, sets us up for not being able to play anything this upcoming turn. And we actually really need to do that. So hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully they don't have anything crazy to counter with or anything like that. That could very well be an option, so we're, we're gonna have to be safe. Okay, looks like that is not the case, which is great. Dryad too, it's actually pretty good. Uh, all right, so we'll just throw this down. We'll throw green. Obviously we're just gonna play the Titan. Um, and the question is, what do we do? I think we have to do this for sure. Uh, it might be gain five life. Yeah, I think it's game five life. Uh, let's go ahead and blow up that Curious Obsession. Uh, interesting they didn't actually do too much this 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 turn here. Uh, so while we're not necessarily in a good place, we do have a big 7-7 seven seven that can block obviously pretty well. So we'll see. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this puts us at seven. Uh, yeah, so we do take this and that gives us Ugin next turn. Oh, okay, cool. Good game. What an annoying deck. <laughs> I hate this deck. I knew this deck existed. Let me be clear. This is a deck I very well know about, but that is very annoying. All right, cool. Hey, you got me. Uh, that was a really silly game. Let's jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Let's see if we can make it happen. Uh, I do, I mean, I, this hand's okay. Um, we'll go ahead and lead with the breeding pool. We can get the Lotus Cobra down turn two, and then we actually have the Fable Passage, which will help us ramp into probably Yasharn. Uh, although Omnath, of course, is a great option as well. So we'll, we'll see what we can do here. Uh, we do have the blue and the green. Ah, okay. Uh, we're obviously not gonna block. I'm just gonna take it uh, as much as I don't want to. Um, all right, let's do this. Uh, let's add the red. Let's do this. We'll add the white. Um, let's also go ahead and grab a white source so that way we can just play Yasharn next turn. Um, all right, and then we just drop this. So this will give us a little bit more to do. It also just draws us a card, which is phenomenal. And I will go ahead and attack here. Uh, they most likely are going to get quite a bit of damage in this turn, but the Omnath in particular is going to gain us some life, and I think that's the crucial piece to all of this. 
Uh, also, if they just have a bad draw, then they don't have very much, so... Okay. So they are going to kill Omnath, which sucks, but... We got another one, so... <laughs> it's not the end of the world. It's not great, but it's not the end of the world. Stormwing Entity, such a great card. I really, really love that card. Uh, that with, like, a, an Is It Young Pyromancer build is just such a fun little combo. Um, all right. Well, I mean, it's not great for us, obviously, but uh, that's fine. I would also assume, and I might be wrong in assuming this, let me be clear. I would also kind of assume that this is a bit of a, uh, a fringe deck. I don't know that this deck is, like, actually, uh, obviously competitively viable. I don't think so, but um, maybe that's incorrect. I don't know, but it doesn't. It feels like more of a for fun deck, which is actually kind of appealing to me. I like more for fun decks anyway, so this is great, but um, I just, I'm assuming there, I know, so that might not be correct, but uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a great ladder climber. It just seems like it's a fun elemental synergistic build, and I like that. Uh, I like that quite a, a lot, actually, so I'm fine with that. Uh, I think in this case, we do end up blocking the Legionnaire, if we can. Did this just give it trample? Yeah, totally did. Such a good card, by the way. Ancestral Anger, I use that in a lot of Delver decks, because it's just so freaking good. Okay, um... Let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Do we think they have one more thing? I'm gonna say... I'm, I'm gonna risk it, guys. Let's do it. I'm gonna risk it. We gain life off of the Omnath, so I'm hoping. <laughs> Here's the really, really hoping, uh, but we'll see. So, uh, we gain four. <laughs> You're gonna phase it out. Let's do this. Okay, good, we did draw a land there. That's actually quite helpful. Uh, we'll add green. Resolve, resolve. That's a really interesting uh, play by them, but I kind of dig it. All right. Um, so we can actually do this first, right? Yes, we can. Or, no, we can't Genesis Ultimatum. Man, I wish, that'd be so sick. All right. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Uh, we'll add blue, but it doesn't matter. We can't do it. So then we uh, get to do this. We will gain five, and I think put a shield counter. Uh, yep, take that action. Enters tapped, obviously. Doesn't matter what we add here because we're not gonna be able to do too much else. Um, and we won't attack just in case, like we are kind of in a position where we're gonna have to block. That was a really good turn though. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Uh, I'm sure they have ways that they can deal with this Titan, um, but we uh, we at least put up a fight here. This was a pretty awesome turn, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we don't die. It'd be really fun to be able to get like a Genesis Ultimatum off or, you know, something along those lines. Uh, well, we do need a red source to do that, so we'll see. Okay. So they are going to get the shield counter off of the Titan. Sure. Uh, so that does make blocking a little bit trickier, of course, but um, I mean, I think we still kind of have to go for it if we can. We can't really just die. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Uh, so a land does, g any land gives us the Genesis ultimatum, which would be really sick. Um, I'm 100% taking the block just gonna get that off the field now uh interesting all right so let's see one two three four five six seven eight lands if we use four of that that puts us down to four then we gain one back uh alternatively we do this we draw a card uh but we obviously lose this omnath i think we just go for yasharn not 100% sure, because I actually, like, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, this does, awesome. Uh, let's do this. Let's 
go for the red here, I guess. I don't think it really matters. Uh, we should have gone for white, actually, so we could have done that. That's okay. Um, so we can't block this. I'm going to try for the attack, actually. Uh, I know this seems a little sketchy, but we kind of have to start start doing something. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm really actually happy we got the 10th District Legionnaire off the field, though. That was a big end. That's a really good card for them. They can power it up even more if they want. Wow, they took two. So they might be able to just, like, power this thing out. Oh, it's Feather. Oh, sick. They had Feather. That's a great card. Okay. Awesome. That's actually really good. All right, six. So let's do this. We're going to gain some life. That's phenomenal. And there we go, guys. We got the win. So we were going to Genesis Ultimatum that turn. That was exactly what we wanted. We do have time for one more, I think. So let's actually go for a game four, guys. Let's see if we can get another win. All right, guys, here we are for game number four. This is, I think, definitely going to be our last game. Uh, this is all uh, probably going to be a control deck. I don't think we can keep that hand. Unfortunately, we're going to end up having to keep this one. Um, I'm actually just going to throw the Titan back. I hate this because this is such a like slow hand against what they're doing. I'd rather be able to capital potentially. I I'm assuming this is control. I might be wrong. Uh, but I would love to be able to like capitalize on the fact that they don't have a ton going on, hopefully, in the early turns. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be the case, uh, which is fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we just throw this out. Next turn, we can do this, and then we have Omnath if we want it. Um, oh, cool. Okay, I was wrong. This is uh, probably an, a really interesting build then. Uh, sick. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and play our Omnath. So at the very least, we do get the card draw off of that. Uh, we do have the Fable Passage, which is obviously going to be a great landfall trigger for us. Um, ah, Ravenous Chupacabra, come on. What a cop-out. What a cop-out. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, all right, let's go ahead and Yasharn. Um, let's make sure, I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? At this point, it doesn't matter, so we get both. Uh, alright, sick. We'll throw this out. Alright, so, let's see what the opponent is up to. One, two, three, four, five, what is this? Oh, Fasa. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ugh. Alright, so they're gonna be able to kill things repeatedly, <laughs> which is... Terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, uh, we'll do it. I know they're gonna be able to, to kill it, obviously, but uh, let's see. Really wish we could do more with this, but we can't, can we? Oh, that sucks, that really, really sucks. Um, let's go ahead and play the blue source. Yeah, let's play the blue source here. Uh, it only gains us four life. It's not like we're doing a ton, but we're getting closer to the Genesis ultimatum. So next turn, I think we should be able to fetch a red source potentially uh, and actually get there. Yarok is ridiculous. This is such a cool deck. Uh, this is the enter the battlefield triggers deck uh, and they're, they're going off, man. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, all right. You got it. I'm going to kill Omnath. Which sucks. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be seven. Let's hope we have a mountain. <laughs> Please have a mountain in the deck, Legend VD. Yes. You did not disappoint, my friend. Let's go ahead and Genesis Ultimatum. All right. Sick. <laughs> we just get more lands. All right. Uh, not great. Not great at all. Uh, but here we are. We do have Ugin. Uh, in our hand, which is really good, uh, because we actually do get to exile everything on the opponent's side, and it's exiling, so that's actually pretty huge for us. Basically, we're going to have to be banking on, like, Genesis Ultimatum after the Ugin to be able to save us and, like, really get us where we need to be, so hopefully. Uh, okay. This is also going to be an Eerie Ultimatum deck, I'm assuming. Uh, which is not great. Wow, Zendikar's royal too. All these options that we're gonna exile. Uh, 
so they get, I assume, yeah. It's a great one. All right. All of the abilities. This is really a sick deck, by the way. This is like amazingly good. Uh, but we do have the answer for it. So I'm kind of okay with this. The hostage takers are a little scurry. Uh, thankfully, our, our solution to these problems is not a creature. All right. All the lands, all the tutus. This is such a sick build. This is one that I would love to test out. This is a nice little combo as well. That's a really cool combo. So eventually, I guess this just... Does this deck themselves, though? Like, eventually, that's a possibility, right? This is really cool. All right, let's let them run through it. I mean, hey, we asked for a, a fourth game. We're going to get a fourth game. Uh, what feels bad, I'm sure... Or, here's the thing. If this works out the way I'm hoping it works out, none of this matters. Um, it does matter in the sense that, obviously, they they have a lot of lands on the battlefield. They will probably also draw, basically, their whole deck. All of that's fine. Uh, but we actually just get to exile their board. <laughs> so, you know, eh, it's fine. Uh, I really like this, though. This is super cool. Uh, they might get a little pissed if we just drop an Ugin, but that's kind of the plan. Guys, how we doing? <laughs> uh, I will let you know also, uh, again, I think I mentioned this in yesterday's video. We do have uh, a couple of things actually I want to announce. So first of all, Saturday, we are back to the binder update. Uh, I know we were out of that for a couple weeks. Part of that was because the double masters, um, excuse me, box opening happened at that time, uh, which I thought was obviously kind of crucial to get that out but uh additionally uh we just kind of didn't get cards in for a little while uh which was on me i should have ordered some more but unfortunately i just didn't uh so i'm glad that we do have more coming we uh we already have next week's or, or saturday's cards in. i just have to record and then of course edit that video uh but we also have more cards coming so we should be good for the next couple weeks and i'm really excited to get back to that because i want to finish that binder we're almost halfway through it's a it's a blast uh, on top of that, John has been switching up his stream schedule a little bit to stream a little bit more often. Uh, we did change up our uh, content calendar a little bit. So if you look on our website, it resolvesmtg.com, or if you just go to like our Instagram page, we have our content schedule labeled there uh, as a highlight. So you can actually check all of that out there. Highly encourage you guys to do so because I do think it's uh, worthwhile checking out. But all that to say, um, we really do, uh, we've been working hard to do quite a bit of uh, extra content for you guys, and I think it's certainly paying off, hopefully, uh, for everybody. Please don't have a counter spell. Alright, sick. Uh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, let's make sure we do the right number here. I believe five. It's five enough. Five should be enough. Uh, yeah, let's... <laughs> Just try to be safe. Let's get all of that out of there. Uh, that probably feels terrible for them, but I'm cool with it. Uh, they do, of course, have just tons of stuff they can do. So, I mean, they've drawn most of their deck at this point. So I'm not thinking this is going to, like, do great. But they are going to... I mean, they have to be more concerned with decking themselves, I feel like. That's good. That's very good. So they just get to steal the Ugin. Uh, don't love that. But again, we do have a Genesis ultimatum coming down. So, hey, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something awesome. Uh, let's make sure we play the Lotus Cobra prior to playing the Genesis ultimatum. That is actually quite important for us. Uh, mostly because it allows us to uh, get a couple of extra, basically, lands off of, or, or mana off of the uh, potential lands that we're going to hit. Titan of Industry. Do love that. Um, all right, so Lotus Cobra first. Let's just do this. Um, we'll add red. Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's very good. Go ahead and do this. This is a good game. Honestly, this is a really sick game. Uh, mostly because we're all, we're both getting to do what our decks are looking to do. So I'm very happy with that. 
Uh, we also get rid of their... Uh, nice. Uh, we'll just add a bunch of green, I guess. Into blue here and there. <laughs> and a red. Why not? <laughs> uh, that's quite good. Um, let's go ahead and draw... If we get another Genesis Ultimatum, like that'd be sick. Uh, let's do this. Doesn't really matter. He's only triggering. Okay, so let's go ahead and do Titan. Uh, let's do this. I think we'll do this. I don't think it really matters that we're putting a shield counter on stuff, unfortunately. Then we'll go ahead and do this. <laughs> Uh, and we are not, let me be clear, let's do these actually. We are not going to crack these quite yet. Uh, if we do have any basics left, I'd actually rather wait until the next turn so we can actually trigger the Omnath again. So I think that's more important. Uh, that's very good. All right. Uh, I mean, hey, I'm pretty happy with this actually. We did get what we were trying to do out of this. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm also glad we killed our own Ugin. That was awesome. They're going to agent. Okay. I don't love that. Obviously, they can kill the... Or, excuse, excuse me, steal uh, a Titan. Um, and it does trigger twice, so they get both. That sucks. All right. What a battle, man. This has been phenomenal. Uh, great job on the opponent's end. This has been really, really sick. That's also terrifying. <laughs> yep. Um, I mean, again, we should have another Ugin, if I'm not mistaken. So there is a world where we still dig out of this somehow. There's also, like, the possib possibility, excuse me, of just another Genesis Ultimatum, uh, since we do have uh, a lot of those. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, they're about to steal a lot of crap from us, which sucks. <laughs> really sucks. All right, so in response, what we're going to do is crack these because the, the obvious steal is Omnath. Oh, no, we don't have it. Um, all right, well, we'll just we'll just wait. Hopefully we didn't shuffle anything too good away. Uh, yeah, Agent of Treachery, man. What an annoying card. <laughs> what a hugely, hugely annoying card. All right. Shield counter was not the best idea, I don't think. We probably should have just gained more life, but that's fine. Uh, what a game. This has been phenomenal. I really enjoy these kinds of games. Even though we are most likely destined to lose this game, I do really love games like this, guys. It's such a pleasure uh, to be able to play such a such a well back at, uh a well-paced game where there's a lot of back and forth. You get to see a lot of different things. It's just I don't know. It's a really, uh, it's a really awesome thing uh, to be able to do that kind of stuff. So we'll see what the opponent's looking to do here with shared summons. Search your lever. Okay. That is not very good, unfortunately. Uh, which does mean, uh, well, yeah, actually, the Genesis Ultimatum is quite good. So I guess that's fine. <laughs> we get another Genesis Ultimatum get to play all of the spells um 4-4 four, four rhino and gain five uh we'll obviously do that unfortunately this is more fuel for their fire though that's kind of part of the problem but uh we are getting quite a lot out of this as well so that's kind of helpful uh it doesn't matter there's the ugin all right <laughs> and we're back to square one <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious to me. Um, okay, so <laughs> I think we just go for the Ugin. Um, I think before that we'll play a land because that does draw us another card, right? No, does it not? No, it doesn't. It's when we play an elemental, duh. Um, well, in that case... No, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll grow Spiral first. I don't think it really matters too much. Go ahead and do this. Uh, doesn't matter. All right, so we are just going to play the Ugin now. Let's make sure we sweep for enough. I think we just cash it in. Uh, 
Yeah, so I think we just cash it in for minus seven, unfortunately. I think we're in the camp of we have to deck them. <laughs> Which really sucks, uh, but I think that's just kind of where we're at. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, we don't have a way of playing anything. We should have tapped differently, I suppose, because this would have actually worked. Uh, interesting. So they're just going to agent for a land. Yeah, that's fine. I think they could have played that in a different order and gained a life, which seems negligible, but you never know. You never know. This is such a phenomenal game, man. I love this. Unfortunately, we don't have another Ugin, so we are out of that. Uh, and we don't have a Genesis Ultimatum, I don't believe. I think we've used all of them. So we are in a pretty rough-ish spot. Uh, we basically just have to last, what, seven turns. <laughs> that's, that's our goal. Um, curious to see which they go for here. All right, they're just going to go for the, the extra here. That makes sense. All right. Here's to hoping, guys. <laughs> what a what an interesting, interesting game. Uh, so they do have a Yorian, so worth noting that they can just blink all of this, uh, in which case they do just get to steal more stuff. So that is actually a, uh, a huge downside to what's going on right now. Uh, so part of me... So they do draw a lot of cards here, actually. Um, That might have been a big downfall for them. That might have been pretty big. Uh, all right. We'll just go here first. Uh, we'll see what we get. Another Risen Reef. I'm good with that. Let's drop the other Risen Reef. All right. Uh, Grow Spiral is a card. <laughs> uh, we don't want to deck ourselves. That's important. Um, so I'm actually just going to play this out and pass. This seems really silly, I know, but the less we do, the less they have to steal, and they are down to no cards in hand, <laughs> or in deck, excuse me. So basically, if we last this turn, we did it. Um, so with that in mind, uh, let's block here, let's block here, and let's block here. I don't care if our stuff dies. All right, uh, let's see what they got. Did we do it? I think, I think we did it. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna kill him. Yes, <laughs> we won. What a game. I'm so glad we did the fourth game. That was astounding, uh, absolutely amazing. I know it was a long one. I know this turned into a longer video, but man, was it worth it. Let's jump into the wrap up really, really quickly. All right, guys, so for some clarification, again, I just want to say, Legend VD, thank you so much for sharing this list. This was a blast. What a roller coaster, right? Like, that last game was so back and forth. It was just phenomenal. Uh, again, I stand by my previous statement, though. I don't think this is a competitive deck. I think it's a fun deck. I think it can be good, obviously, but I do think it's much more of a synergistic, fun deck to build around. It's not necessarily going to be, like, the easy win deck. Uh, in general because it is a little bit slower. It's very focused in in its goals And so it makes it a little bit trickier that being said we were able to pull off a couple of very very good wins there uh, And unfortunately lost one I believe but that's okay. I it's fun. It's a fun, fun deck. So I really encourage you guys to try this one out Legend VD did a phenomenal job with this one uh, and if you do like elemental strategies, which I know I am a big fan of, this is a prime deck for you guys. You have to try it out. It's a blast. So thank you guys again. I really do appreciate you watching, uh, hopefully enjoying what was a really amazing, amazing game. That last game was, oh, chef's kiss. Uh, but guys, thank you so much. I love you all very much. I'll see you tomorrow with some more standard gameplay video. I cannot wait for that one. See you guys then.